Hello Virgo, welcome back to Fifi's Tarot Readings. I hope you are all doing wonderful. For those that are new to my channel, a very warm welcome. And cross watchers, you are definitely welcome to here as well. Because this is a general love reading, the roles can always be reversed, right? They can always be flipped. So Virgo, plight to your situation. Take only what resonates, what you know, all those little facts that are true to your story, or what I'm already confirming that you know. And whatever doesn't make sense, or you know for certain that is not part of your story, throw it out, you don't need it. So just only grab the information that you know applies to your situation. So Virgo, in saying that, let's start. Let's see what is happening currently in your heart space. And I'll be focusing on what you should look forward to for the month of February 2022. Who are you thinking about the most? Who is thinking about you? Who is coming towards you? What you should look out for, for example? Let's see. Ooh, all right. Okay, the cards are very slippery today. Now, for those that do like this deck that I'm using, I've been getting a lot of feed, positive feedback from it. Um, so as you can see, they're beautiful with the gold accents there. I'll show you one there. We've got the King of Swords there. So as you can see, that's beautiful. <laughs> I love them. And we've got a close up there. So um, I will be putting the uh, a link here um, in the description box of where you can purchase your own deck. If you want to add it to your collection or, uh, you know, if you want to use it for yourself, um, I do not get any commission at all um, from, you know, if anyone goes and buys it. I just like sharing. Um, I've gotten a lot of positive feedback. These are actually called the Lucid Dreams Beginners, Beginners Tarot, sorry. So I'll put the link if you want to purchase it for yourself. So let's move on, Aquarius. I mean Virgo, my apologies. <laughs> I just did Aquarius, but that's why I always put that. Virgo. <laughs> let's see. My lovely bird guys, what is coming towards you? Let's see what is happening around your heart space. Who's coming towards you? What should you look out for? What's a heads up for you, um, Virgo? Let's see. All right, here we go. I'm hearing Virgo that a lot of you uh, just uh, really want to travel. <laughs> you want to travel, you're planning to travel here. It's almost like you're looking at your suitcase. So yeah, possibly you could meet someone actually um, traveling as well though. Very interesting. Bottom of the deck though. Now that's not for all of you. It was That's probably meant definitely for someone watching this video as a confirmation that it will happen. Now you have the Knight of Pentacles here at the bottom. Very strong card here. Um, for Virgo, possibly could be a Taurus and a Capricorn as well. So this is actually my favorite night, Virgo. The reason why I say that is because when this night finally arrives um, around your energy, uh, Virgo, they arrive correctly. This person is very grounded. They have really thought about what to say to you, how to act, what to offer you, for example. It feels like it's been a long time coming. I mean, Virgo, if you're single, you've probably been waiting for this change for a very long time. Um, but I actually quite like this though. This is someone that is practical. This is someone that is reliable here. It's like almost slow and steady wins the race here. You might actually want to take this connection quite slow as well. So, I mean, in saying that, you know, I did say Virgo, you might actually meet a fellow Virgo, um, Taurus or Capricorn though. Um, but this is someone that is grounded and they're seeking commitment here from you. You know, we've got that Knight of Pentacles there is holding um, that coin which is that opportunity here as well. Um, it's all about being patient. I feel like, yes, you know, being patient as in taking it one day at a time. Um, we've also got that page of wands. Beautiful. I love that card. Very strong Aries, um, Leo and Sagittarius energy. So this is all about options, but this is an offer here, an opportunity possibly, you know, to take the opportunity from this Knight of Pentacles. And it's almost like it lights that fire in your belly, gets you excited, gets you confident again. Um, yeah, honestly, um, I'm probably going to say go for it, but be aware to not miss out on this opportunity. So the reason why I say that, um, Virgo, is that probably for the month of February, keep your eyes and your ears open for this person that is about to enter your life, though. Um, I just say that because you did get the Four of Cups, um, and that is very strong Cancer energy. That Four of Cups shows sometimes, Virgo, we might be a little bit bored with our current circumstances. If we have like this routine here, we're probably feeling a bit unmotivated, uninspired here. Um, yeah, sometimes it, we feel a little bit disconnected or even melancholic about the past, which makes us a bit sad to think about it. You know, it kind of feels like our heart's breaking all over again. Um, 
But, you know, every time we get this card, Spirit's like, oh, hang on, heads up. You don't want to miss a lost opportunity, though. It's almost like get out of, you know, your emotions and your head. Um, because, and yeah, and that's the thing, you know, I, I feel like there's a beautiful opportunity coming towards you, though. And it's almost like Spirit wants you to be ready for it. Now, you may be a little bit melancholic because of the past. Maybe there was a recent ending here with that death card. Scorpio energy. We've got more Scorpio energy here and triple Scorpio energy. Wow, all of this is Scorpio energy. It doesn't have to be. Maybe it's somewhere in your past person's chart here. But um, uh, this is really symbolic about, not about physical death, but the, you know, the death of this situation that happened here in the past, though. It is about rebirth, big changes. It's moving on. It's about transformation. It's kind of like that transition between, you know, what happened in the past, your, you healing now, and making that transition to this new person that's probably coming into your life, though. So you're definitely starting fresh, though. Um, now, this definitely could have been, you probably dealing here with a Scorpio or possibly a Cancer or Pisces here. This is someone that it seemed in the past that maybe you were both very devoted to each other here, you know. Um, it just felt like it was a very grounded, emotionally mature and balanced connection here um, where this person really loved you and you loved this person though. But things didn't work out though. We got that Five of Cups as you can see. So... It's a pretty heavy card though. It is about regret because things didn't really, it didn't pan out. It's, I feel like the potential maybe you're seeing in it, it was just, it was unfulfilled though. So it almost like, you know, Virgo, do not feel like a failure. Um, I'm really picking up that this, it was not your fault. Something just happened and it just, it just cut though. Um, so you're, you're probably still grieving. Sometimes we feel a bit abandoned and unloved with this card here as well. Um, you know, it's about loss and sadness. So I feel like that's why it's a very strong message here that Spirit is saying, please, please do not miss out on this wonderful opportunity that is coming your way, though. You definitely don't want to miss it, though. Um, so like they say, you know, if you need to grieve over the past, please do it, though. Um, but as I said, you know, keep your eyes and your ears open as well, though, because there is something amazing coming your way, Virgo. So I'm putting the nine card spread. I'll be clarifying it with the Grand Lux Tarot. So let me put all the cards down first. Nine of Pentacles, that's your energy, Virgo energy. Mm -hmm. The Seven of Wands, Leo energy. Okay, so, all right, I'm seeing you're 100% single. You probably have very tight boundaries at the moment. We do have the Chariot, Cancer energy. It's the fastest card in the entire deck. So something's charging towards you. And we have that Ace of Wands. Love that Ace of Wands. Oh, we got a brand new passionate start coming towards you. This is this is bit, I like this. Wow, it's going to get you out of this energy. So what's the beating heart of your reading, Virgo? Oh my God, another ace. Ace of Pentacles. Oh my God, Taurus energy, Virgo and Capricorn as well. To have one ace, Virgo, is amazing. To have two, even better. <laughs> what else do we have? We've got the moon. Okay, we've got Cancer, Pisces energy. What else do we have? We have the Seven of Cups, Scorpio energy. We have the Ten of Wands, Sagittarius energy, and we finish off with the Page of Cups. Love it. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy right there. Ooh, all right. So I have to say it already. Something amazing is coming your way. The thing is, you probably are questioning, am I ready? Am I ready? I honestly feel that, at least explore it. You don't want to say, well, what if? I'm really getting here with that Nine of Pentacles. A lot of you are thinking of becoming self-employed or are already self-employed here. I love this because it is the minor arcana of the Empress. So this is already a good sign, Virgo, that you are on the right path. You may not feel it. It doesn't probably even appear it that way, but you are, Virgo. Absolutely. Um, so I see here at the moment, you're really trying to focus now on your career, your studies, your finances here. It's a kind of luxury. So you're really kind of conjuring up that image of working towards your dream life here as well. You're being self-sufficient. You're really trying to dig in and find that beautiful self-worth that you are, which is amazing. Um, some of you are really working towards becoming financially independent here. Um, and you know, I have to admit, I almost feel it's almost like you wanna stay single. Like there's no way that you could love anyone else. But um, honestly, that's about to change. And also, you know, if, if you run out of resources, Virgo, I don't know how you do it, but you find resources. In other words, you're very resourceful here as well, though. Um, but listen, you're doing pretty good on your own. You're one of the most independent star signs where you don't need to, you don't need someone to complete your life. But are you mourning at the moment? Yes, you are, though. 
and that's normal you know you've got human emotions so that's seven of wands though um well that's kind of showing me at the moment that you are standing your ground though you know your your boundaries are very tight you are defending your position here it's all about perseverance self-protection here almost protecting your territory it's like i don't want anyone to get too close um but it is almost, I have to say this, and I will be clarifying these cards, it is safe to lower your guard though. The reason why I say that is because you have the chariot literally charging towards you. This is by far the fastest card in the entire deck. This person actually, you may meet this person abroad, which is why I picked up that some of you may travel and actually may meet someone um, overseas or even interstate, for example. Um, but this is someone that is very determined to be victorious with you. It's like they see you, they value you, and they want to win your heart. I'm also picking up this person is 100% single as well. So they're not coming with strings attached or but dot 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 or any baggage here as well. Um, I actually quite like this. I feel that there's a little spark of you that's saying, well, what, what if? Why don't, why don't I at least see this person out for myself though? But am I ready? Now, Spirit is already saying, hey, we're giving you this brand new start. So it's almost like they're saying, yes, it's okay to be in that Four of Cups energy, but please look what we're presenting to you. A passionate new start, and we've got something solid here, something that is tangible. You can see it before you, you know, it grows before you. So this particular Ace, which is the Ace of Wands, really shows that this is going to be quite successful though. Now, some of you may meet this person through work, through projects, for example. Um, possibly be like I said connected through work or travel but um it doesn't matter where you meet this person eventually this person will be offering you that big fat ace of pentacles which is commitment that often does lead to marriage should you want that but this is the thing though yeah look at that so you have a lot of internal fears and anxieties with the moon it kind of feels like if you were the victim in the past of someone keeping secrets from you, where things were not as they seem, I really feel it's kind of like it, there could be a bit of emotional trauma that you're probably not even aware of that's still kind of attached to you, um, Virgo. So your intuition, though, is telling you, I feel like it's going to be tugging at you. It's like doing this to you, saying, you know, Virgo, not everybody's the same, and we cannot cut everyone metaphorically with the same sword, though. Um, sometimes it is about fantasies and illusions of worst case scenario here as well. So there's probably just a lot of inner, um, some, some inner conflict between your head and your heart here as well, though. Now, the Seven of Cups here. Now, this can sometimes show when our emotions and our thoughts are a little bit clouded at the moment. So it's like you're almost questioning, am I ready, though? Will I be able to love someone else as much as this brand new person? So it is about choices here, having you know many options, opportunity here as well. Um, sometimes it can show when you're a little bit indecisive. Hence why you know the first card that you got there was the Knight of Pentacles, the slowest knight. So I do see you taking your time though. And that's probably not a bad thing though. Um, probably if you just probably be open to saying yes to this person and taking it slow, maybe actually voicing your opinion. Um, you know, and your needs and desires with that seven of wands though. Now we've got that 10 of wands here. So at the moment, I kind of feel here that maybe would this new relationship be a burden to you? And, you know, this is kind of like your thought process at the moment though. I just feel that you have a lot of extra responsibilities here. Just be careful not to burn yourself out because this is kind of like the physical burnout card as well. You know, it's kind of like when we're tired, like the nine of wands almost. Um, you know, it's about stress, exhaustion here, um, burning out struggles and all that. So, you know, you may be struggling to move on from the past here as well. But also, like, you're kind of almost thinking here, what if this is another stressful situation? I cannot handle any more stress, though. But this is the thing. You end with a beautiful page, the page of cups, though. There could be an age difference between you and this person. There may be children involved here as well. Virgo, in this circumstances, you may be younger or maybe they're younger. So definitely flip it as it applies to you. Um, definitely I'm picking up that this person could be very creative. The Page of Cups is a very creative person here, um, as well. They just create magic from nothing. Um, but I love this. We've got beautiful messages coming your way. And there's a part of you saying, is this too good to be true? Mm -mm -mm. I don't know if I can trust this person now. I've been burnt too many times. You know, why is this person going to be different though? Um, but we do have beautiful messages coming your way though beautiful offers, let me take you out, let's do this, let's do that. This person is coming very genuine into your life though. So I did split the deck here. So when I do that Vir Virgo, we're splitting the energies, we're going a lot more deeper. See, we've got that three of swords, Libra energy. So your heart has been broken in the past, there probably could have been a third party, literally it could have been infidelity, or something or someone intervened here. 
So yeah, it's um, I feel that you're still healing, and you know, even if you say this is too early right now, I feel like spirit brought you this new person at the correct time. It's going to allow you to get out of that energy there um, of just. Yeah, so you've got the, pay, the Ace of Wands again. This is a, a successful new start, new relationship coming towards you. Oh, wow. Obviously, I would say take all the time you need, but um, there is a reason why this person is coming towards you. Yeah, we've got that world card again. You may meet um, a, a Leo, an Aquarius, Scorpio, a Taurus here, possibly overseas as well. So it's going to make you really happy. You've got the sun. You literally could be traveling to a hot, sunny place. That's a very literal meaning of the sun. And that's also the return of health on all levels, including emotional health, Virgo. There is a big turning point for you here. You've got a brand new cycle. Ooh. All right. Got the Six of Pentacles and the Sun again. There's going to be equal give and take in this connection. It's going to make you really happy. Um, but you're doing something very responsible. You are taking your time, though. You want to see for yourself. I don't think you're going to dive in straight away, though. I mean, this person may want to move things very fast with you, but I feel like you may want to hold back a little bit. That's how, just, you know, it's about that protection, self-protection. Um, and that's very reminiscent there of the Seven of Wands. Let's see. Bottom of the deck, we have the devil, Aquarius energy. So the devil is the card of extremes here. So first of all, what I'm going to say before I move on to the next one. Yeah, yeah. Okay, you got the high priestess at the bottom. I would say here is to, how could I say this? I'm not getting any obsession here. I'm not getting any toxic energies. I'm just getting here that there's probably too much negative energy here, um, too much negative thinking about the past here as well, especially if you're doing some self-blaming. Virgo, maybe some of you are also drinking or doing too much of something um, in an extreme just to cope so you can numb your emotions. Um, but very soon, you're actually going to have to listen to your intuition. It's going to tell you to stop because it's like clear energy. Make it a little bit lighter because we've got someone here that is a complete opposite of your ex. I have to say that. Yeah. Um, and if there was a third party, perhaps your person was dealing with a karmic here as well, though. Um, but yeah, listen to your intuition. It's telling you it's I think almost that when this person arrives, it's almost like your intuition is going to say, OK, let's lighten our energies now. Um, no more, you know, self-hatred or talking bad about ourselves, all that negative thinking here as well. Yeah, we've got Aries um, energy with that emperor. Definitely, if you are going to be dealing with a masculine, um, they probably could have children, but they're going to be taking action towards you. Absolutely, though. Um, and probably, I, it's almost like that negative thinking of they're going to break my heart as well. Hence why you're going to take your time. They may want to rush into this. This is the fastest night, but I see you wanting to take your time, though. Yeah, we've got coming together there with um, the Three of Cups Cancer energy. Yeah, you may meet this person in a very sociable place here, possibly even through friends as well. This is looking really good, though, um, Virgo. There's just a bit of more inner work. I mean, inner work never stops as well. I should say that. Um, I suppose it's like, I don't know. I'm just trying to find those words. It's almost like just be aware of your thoughts, Virgo. Be aware of your emotions and your thoughts that they're not so negative. They don't go too dark where we stop. We start believing that it's true, though. So let's clarify that Nine of Pentacles. We have the Five of Wands, Leo energy, and the Three of Swords again, uh, Libra energy. So yeah, at the moment, I have a feeling that you're really good to be on your own. Um, and you're pretty much, you know, whoever you were dealing with in the past, it probably did not end on the best terms. That Five of Wands can show that there was some kind of conflict, some struggles, arguments here as well, because of that third party, because your heart was so broken, because there is heartache here as well. Um, and you don't want to go through that ever again. So it's almost like I prefer to be single. Um, if there is someone out there, if, and that's a big if, um, you know, I'll look into it, but not now though. But either way, there is something literally charging towards you though. And I do feel that it is meant for you. You're just being deeply hurt and wounded by what this past person did to you. So clarifying that seven of swords, we have the lovers, Gemini energy, and we have judgment. Um, very strong Scorpio, possibly Libra energy here as well. So, oh, that's why we got options. Okay, so this is starting to make sense here. So Libra, I understand, uh, I'm saying Libra because I'm looking at that, Virgo. Oh, the love was mutual, I have to say that. It was a very deep soulmate connection here. 
I have to admit, because now it's still talking about your past. Do not be surprised, Virgo, if your person here may ask possibly to meet up for a second chance. I don't know if you're actually going to go back. Um, I probably wouldn't, because don't forget what they've done to you. I probably wouldn't. They probably even just want to chat to see how you're going. I'm just getting here. They may waste your time again. And you're going to fall into that Three of Swords a lot more deeper, though. I do feel that there is definitely a soulmate connection where the love is, you know, there is respect. There is mutual love, mutual respect that is coming towards you. It has yet to arrive, Virgo. Just be aware of that. If this person does reach out from your past, um, they may actually waste your time again. So just be very careful because what they did to you, that, that's pretty heavy, though. They really put you in a dark place, Virgo, and you don't deserve that. So let's clarify the chariot. We have the Six of Swords, Aquarius Energy. So you're moving on. And this is a rite of passage. Why do I say that? Because before the Six of Swords, we have the Five of Swords, where again, you know, it's about challenges, which are always meant to be overcome. Um, but it's actually kind of moving into calmer waters as well. It's all The Sixes are all about healing as well. Again, I'm seeing travel here for a lot of you. Literally, that could be overseas you know, abroad, over water here, but you're moving on. Yeah. What else do we have? We have the Eight of Swords, Gemini Energy. Yeah, you may actually hold back from this past person. That's what I'm already getting. You're probably going to hold back. Um, it's almost like this person makes you afraid and fearful that you're going to go into, um, and I hate to say I got the word depression, just a lot more deeper into that. Because, um, you know, this can sometimes often signify like the Eight and the Nine of Swords can show some depression. There's a lot of fearful um, energy here, some anxiety, a bit of that um, mental self-imprisonment as well. So I do see you moving on and holding back from this person, though. The hurt was just way too much. The wounds are running way too deep um, in regards to what this person did to you. So clarifying that Ace of Wands, Queen of Swords, Strength card. So we have very strong here um, Gemini energy. It could also be in Aquarius and Libra. And we've got the Major Arcana here from Leo. So yeah, it's going to take a lot of strength here. But what I like is that this is the return of your confidence, your self-esteem here, your health as well on all levels. Um, now, I would not be surprised, Virgo. It's either you or this new person are possibly separated or divorced as well. Um, but this is what I like. The sword is almost pointing up its progressive energy. There is something that this new person like really wants to get off their chest, such as, you know what? I'm very passionate about you. I want to, I want to, uh, uh, basically, I would love to have a beautiful relationship commitment with you. Um, and that strength card, yeah, you're still probably holding back a little bit, being a little bit self <laughs> um, resilient. Now you're really understanding about self love, self respect, and that inner stillness in your heart. Um, I feel like you're going to be courageous. You're going to find that inner strength to say, all right, you know what? Let me give this person a chance. Let me see for myself what's going to happen, though. But I do feel that you're being very guarded still. You're still in protection mode. So clarifying that Ace of Pentacles, we have the Seven of Swords and we have the Two of um, Pentacles, Aquarius and um, Capricorn energy. It, you know, the big thing here that I feel like you probably must work on is trust. The only reason why I say that, it's almost like you don't still... It's like a bit of a war between your head and your heart. You still don't really trust, is this connection really good? What if I go back to this person? What if I'm best better on my own though? Only because you've been on the receiving end here of someone promising a beautiful start in the past. There was a lot of lying, cheating, stealing. You know, it's very sneaky energy here. So that's why you're still making up that decision here. Um, it's like weighing up the pros and cons here. You know, it's almost like you prefer to be distracted at work and be very busy and not deal with any type of love at the moment though. Um, even that Queen of Swords says, oh, you know what, I'm going to work right now. I don't want to think about love. So, yeah, you're making a decision here. Trust is a major issue. In a way, I don't blame you, uh, Virgo. I don't blame you at all. Uh, that decision will have to be made, though. Absolutely. Just so it allows you to move forward, though. But this is looking pretty good, though. This new person is coming with good intentions, though. So clarifying the moon. Wow, look at that. Clarifying the moon with the moon. Double intuition here and the Eight of Cups. Yeah. Oh, wow. All right. So not everything is as it seems, isn't it? We've got a lot of internal fears, a lot of internal anxieties here. And yeah, I honestly see one that you're definitely going to move on from your past person. Okay. And I'm also getting here that if this nothing adds up with this new person, 
that you're prepared to move on. So I would just, for this new person, just be 100% sure that they are divorced or they're separated, there's no one, there's no ex or secret lover hanging on. Uh, do you know what I mean? Just be sure of that or else you're prepared to move on though. Your intuition is at an all-time high. So I, I probably think here yeah, that's probably why you're weighing up that, you know, making a decision here. It's like, oh, should I give this new person an opportunity or should I not though? I would just say be, just be aware of that. Um, just be sure that they're not holding on to anyone or that there's no baggage. Do you know what I mean? I mean, we all have baggage, but what I'm saying is just, you know, make sure that there is no third party as well. You don't want to repeat those cycles um, again though. So clarifying that seven of cups, four of wands, Aries energy, and the king of swords. So now you have a power couple of the queen of swords and the king of swords of communication here. Um, so this is my marriage card. And if you do believe in twin flame energy, it's right here though. Definitely showing me that there could be a change of job and definitely a change of address here. Definitely moving into a new home. Um, I have to say that your person is going to be quite vocal and very direct here, this new person, of what they want with you. Would not be surprised if they were married in the past though. Um, but they do want commitment with you. They want, they actually, if you do say yes to this person, you may find out in a couple of weeks to months, short months, that they, they want you to move in. Um, honestly, yeah. But there's something they need to say to you. They're going to be very direct about what they want with you. Um, in a good way, of course. And what they want. What they're seeking for their future. Clarifying that Ten of Wands. We have the Seven of Pentacles, Taurus Energy, and the Five of Swords. Aquarius Energy here. So interesting. So what's making you really stressed here? Because we are clarifying that's Ten of Wands. Yeah, you know what, Virgo, I'm really getting here for some of you in the past. You were really, really um, on the verge of getting married to someone or were married. But the past person here just really did not. They, it's almost like they bailed out of this commitment, though. And you're stressed it's going to happen again. Wow. You don't want to deal with anyone selfish anymore. I just want to clarify that page of cups. Yeah, Ace of Swords and Temperance. You'll be getting your clarity with this person. I feel like you, you may even be on the verge of just walking away from any everyone at the moment. Um, but that Ace of Swords is about a mental breakthrough. It's clarity. You know, finally you get all your questions answered here and you've got peace, balance and harmony coming towards you. You very well may give this person last minute a chance. And I, I do feel that, yes, you may be attracted to this person. They're super attracted to you as well. We've got a wish coming true there with that Nine of um, cups, Pisces energy. Just take your time. The, the best way to go about this new connection, Virgo, is patience. Take it one day at a time. No need to rush, though. I feel like you've got a lot of happiness coming your way, though. Let me see. So split the deck. Let go of control issues. Allow this new connection to unfold naturally. We've also got healing family issues, especially if there was children involved, marriage, for example, because you've got new love coming your way. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Ooh. All right, that's a highlighted message for you. Past life relationship, you have known each other before. So there may be like instant soul recognition, you feel comfortable with this person as well. Um, so mm, there's a reason probably why he's met. So this is going to happen very soon, um, Virgo. And very soon you will decide, well, what is it that I want now? Am I ready to be with someone else? Yep, there will be a lot of passion in here. A passion, love, you know, with, within this um, new connection. Yeah, they will be expressing their um, love for you. They're going to make the romantic gesture. Yeah, again, we've got that reconciliation. I did say here for some of you, there is a very big possibility here quite soon that maybe you may receive, you know, a hello, heads up from someone in the past though. Yeah. So in regards to the new connection, they're saying it's worth waiting for. Divine timing is at play in your life. Yeah, you're loving yourself first. You're respecting yourself first, but they do want you to know it is safe for you to love. Yep, yeah, and they're going to make the effort. Spirit said get one more. Yeah, forgiving and learning. Whom do you need to forgive? First yourself, Virgo, because you've done nothing wrong. Your past person may be asking for forgiveness, but I see you probably walking away. At, and it's almost like if even this new person, if something doesn't make sense, you're prepared to walk away as well. The best thing to do, Virgo, is to take your time. Absolutely. Take your time, you know, get all, ask all the questions that you need. Um, but you have a brand new turning point here for you. Absolutely. I'm actually quite liking this. 
All right, Virgo, this is what you can look forward to. You know, these big energies now um, coming in for February 2022. Um, yeah, if you liked this reading, give it a thumbs up. It very well may um, reach another Virgo that needs to hear these messages as well. Um, and yeah, I do appreciate you being here. I do these readings with a lot of love and enthusiasm for you. So there's wonderful things, major shifts and changes within you and around you to look forward to, Virgo. Until next time, take care. Bye.